the JBL Clip 2. This speaker here is the most versatile speaker that you can buy from JBL. Um, and it's all because of one little thing that this item includes. Let's get into the review and see what this JBL speaker features. That makes it so unique. Okay, so what's included in the box? So let's take it out. So at first you get this orange uh, USB charger. It is a micro USB, so if you have an Android device, it uh, same charger. Then you slide it out, and then of course you got your instructions, typical, and then you also have the device itself. So in order to get this device out, you have to kind of pull up on it because this ring right here, this is the key feature that makes worth makes this um, item worth buying. It was connected to there, so it sits snugly in between this triangle. So here's the look of the JBL speaker. If you look at the back, it comes with a um, headphone jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack. And as you can see, it is wrapped around the whole device. So plugs in there. And you could wrap it around so that way you do not lose your headphone jack. Um, you don't have to walk around with one. It will always be in the, the actual speaker or on the actual speaker at all times. So if your Bluetooth decides to shut off, um, for some reason you got a, a software issue, you could always plug it in direct. Or if you have an older device that only has this, plug it in direct. Um, but at least it's always with you at all times. Another nice feature is this movement here because it allows the speaker to flex a lot. And I thought it would be like a, a rubbery type of uh, plastic or material, but it's not. It's actually hard, but it slides in and out of this ring as if it was rubber, which is nice because it allows you to make adjustments with this speaker. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about it binding and say you clipped it on your backpack here because this is a carabiner. If you clipped it on your backpack, you don't have to worry about it kicking sideways on you and hanging out like that. It'll actually start settling down so that way it always sits in the crotch of this carabiner itself. So that's the basic overlook. You do have um, the charger port, as you can see here, and it is sealed up really nice. Then you have a power button here, which turns it on just like any other JBL speaker. And then you have a Bluetooth button. So when you click that, it basically indicates this little blue light for you stating that it's ready to pair up with your Bluetooth um, device. So you also have the volume button. Once it reaches maximum, uh, the maximum volume, as you can see it makes a riff. And then when you decrease volume, it's on this side. And then you have a, a phone button which you can answer phone calls and stuff like that. And this is a universal button so it does like your play, pause type of deal. And that is on the left side of this. And then these other buttons were on the right side with the charging port on the right side. This is an amazing little speaker. It is really loud for its size. And the quality of the speaker itself is what you would expect from JBL. So it's has this uh, fiber mesh uh, grill, which is reinforced with something because it does not cave in. And at the same time, this speaker for its size and its loudness, it's really robust. Um, it is, I would say, as far as clarity is concerned, it's about the same as the Flip 4, except for the Flip 4, 
is a lot louder than this one. Well, not a lot louder. It's pretty loud uh, compared to this. It, this one would play probably at 75% of what the Flip 4 plays at. So the Flip 4 has about 25% more volume to it. But $60, the Flip 4 is $100. Okay, so some of the key features that with this clip is of course you could attach it to your backpack but since it was in the crotch area of the carabiner clip you could slide it over to the middle like that and use it as a stand so that's another cool feature is you could use it as a stand to hold your speaker up to direct the sound to the audience that's listening to it and um that's really nice because um, if not, it would just lay down flat like that or only clip. So this clip is very universal. So you set it up. It's facing you. And let's run through um, a 50% volume check. And so that way you could hear what it sounds like at 50% volume. So of course this is going to be played at 50% volume. Um, and then I'll play it at 100% volume so that way you could kind of get an idea of how loud the speaker actually is. Uh, if you want to compare it to any other JBL speakers, um, check out my other videos and then play them at the same time as this one and you'll see the difference in how loud the speaker is. But like I mentioned earlier, I would say this is about 75% of what the Flip 4 could put, uh, put out as far as volume is concerned. Um, but then again, for this is a $60 speaker, the Flip 4 is a $100 speaker, so there's a difference in price, definitely. Um, so let's play this at 50% volume. <laughs> So as you could hear, it doesn't sound too full. It does play uh, the audio really clear though. So if you're looking for a lot of bass, this speaker doesn't have a lot of bass. It's more of um, to clip on your backpack or take it on the go type of uh, speaker. So now let's kick it up to 100% volume and see what that sounds like. So it's a good quality sounding speaker. As you could tell, it just lacks a lot of the bass. Um, but overall, it's a good speaker. It's, it's good for a gift. It's good for Christmas switches coming up. And they come in a variety of colors, like this um, teal looking blue. And then they come with uh, a darker blue, which is what I have over here. So they have the teal, which is what you've seen and then they have this darker blue and then they have a red and then they have the gray also on the back side of it it's like a rubbery finish in here it's a little harder than a standard rubber finish so that way it would insert this nicely the tolerancing in there is really tight so that's pretty cool how close they made this fit it does have this rubber ring around it which uh, prevents it from moving as you set it down face uh, facing the audio upward it will not move on you and then it has these little tiny nubs all the way around it which Kind of elevates it a little bit more so that way you don't 
um, get a, a dirt ring around this because these little nubs will account for that distance so it will keep your uh, your speaker a lot more cleaner as far as this back is concerned because I know when you set something that's rubber um, coated on a surface over time it'll start to show dirt around it and uh, that's pretty cool that JBL paid attention to that small detail and then also having the LED light in the back and just the overall build quality is amazing um, which that's what you expect with JBL okay so we have the JBL Junior 300s uh, they're for kids so they're a smaller headphone these will not fit adults and they're pretty nice they're they they have some amazing features um, that you want to look for for headphones when you know giving it to a child only because you don't want them to blow out their head uh, eardrums so okay, there's so a limiting after factor taking it there. out of the box um, the JBL headphones for kids it comes like this and then of course you pull out the cord but before you take out the cord what's underneath the package is a whole bunch of uh, decals for the kids so that way they could um, just customize their stuff as they please and then instructions so then you also have this uh, cord that sits underneath the box which everything laid down underneath here so get that out of the way and then you have the headphones so these headphones are pretty cool for kids um, the the actual auxiliary jack is at an angle so that way they don't bend the wire and break it so if they put this in their pocket um, it kind of angles out um, one thing to note is when a kid actually has it into their phone or their iPod or iPad, whatever they're using to uh, use this device for, one thing is when this is straight, it will put a lot of uh, pressure on the wires and uh, you'll have a breakdown right in here. So what JBL did with the angle is it gets it out of the way so if they do uh, push pressure on the end of it if they're holding their device or whatever they uh, however they hold it it will allow it to flex back up this way and not kink this area where it gets into the uh, auxiliary port itself so that's one nice feature another thing I notice is these swivels on the ear cups uh, they swivel pretty nice and then they fold in so you don't have to worry about them breaking them so they swivel in and out kind of like the DJ ones for um, for adults uh, you could put one ear on and then have one ear off uh, left or right it doesn't matter um, it also has a soft cushioned pad up here it's uh, like a foam uh, feel to it it, um, it's not really aggressive so it won't hurt their head after wearing it for a long time um, it's pretty durable the plastic they flex pretty good and another thing is the volume so don't worry about if your kids have their stuff up really loud because the volume here compared to adult headphones um, this is at the at the maximum it's at a maximum limit for before your ears start getting damaged so if you ever um, used your headphones and turn them all the way up it at 75 percent of the full volume it gives you a warning and it tells you that basically you're playing it anything past uh, the 75 to the 100 percent uh, could cause ear damage but these ones are at that 75% mark at full volume or slightly less. 
so you don't have to worry about them maxing these out and blowing out their eardrums because at maximum it is about 75 percent or less so that's a good feature that these have so that's the review of the jbl kids headphones um if this was helpful uh like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>